John, another another break from league action this week. You've got a, a Friday night game this time against Partick Thistle. Um, what are your thoughts going into this one? Uh, I think Ian has put a really good squad together uh, over the last two or three years. He's been building that squad up and he's got an excellent squad right now. Uh, good players in every position now. Uh, and uh, we would be playing the number one seeds. You know, they're, they're top of the championship right now. And that would make them the number one seeds. Uh, so we're going to have to be our best. You know, it's a good challenge for us. It's a good test for us to, to you know put to put our wits against a team like Partick, who, as I say, you know, from getting out of League One, uh, they have been just building and building. And, and Ian has got a great squad together now, and they've got a, a right good chance of, of winning the championship. <clears throat> so repeating myself, but we'll need to be our best. We'll need to be every bit as good as we were last week, and, and perhaps even better. Well, this season you've got a good record against uh, against the top seeds in competitions uh, after the, the Hibs result, um, so you're 100% there. Um, how confident are the, are the guys and, and what's the preparation been like going into, into this one? Preparation's been good, yeah. I mean, the lads have uh, taken some confidence from our performance last week. We felt we played really well, didn't quite get the win, but we oh, did everything we, we, you know, we could have done to, to try and win the game. Uh, so we are... We're happy with our, our work, with what we've been doing during the week. We know the uh, areas where party could hurt us in the way that they're playing. They're playing, uh, they're playing very well, and they have a, a number of players. Uh, obviously, I can't tell exactly what team they're going to pick, but Brian Graham's a you know a prolific goal scorer. They've got pace with Tiffany uh, Lawless is a you know can be a thorn in your side, and midfield players you know. Uh, Dockerty and uh, Bannigan, they've been there for, you know, we, we Ian McCall all the way along there. Uh, very, very good, you know, central midfield players. And whether Turner, Turner plays in, in front of that or whatever, uh, <coughs> you know, and brought in good, good, two good fullbacks in uh, Jordan McMillan and the lad Millen from, from Cove, uh, Adam Muirhead at centre back, and uh, Lad Hope, you know, it's a, a really, really strong squad they've got, and Davy Mitchell in goal. So, yeah, they've put, as I say, and they've got options with uh, Anton Dowds, you know, obviously Falkirk, you know, Remember fans and Christ players know uh, about Aaron. Uh, so, we know what to expect, you know, we've done our work, uh, but at the same time, you know, we have to be able to go and play, you know, and we played some really good football last week. We're back at home, we've been doing really well at home. And it's a test for us, and it's a challenge for us, but we'll be very much up for it. And a lot of people may be thinking, "Oh, this this might be a free hit," you know, because because the focus is on the league. But that might not be the the case for you guys. Just wanting to go out there and and win every game that that you can. But at the same time, is it is it still a chance to kind of give other players minutes and rotate the squad a bit, or will we see mainly a, a an unchanged team? We're looking to build on uh, a performance last week. You know. Uh, we have a, a bounce game on Tuesday, uh, which will be an opportunity to, to give other players minutes. We'll be trying to be as strong as we can be. We won't, we've, you know, we're in our mind we've, we've made one change, uh, you know, which is obviously telling everyone what we're doing. But yeah, uh, we uh, we're going to be as strong as we, as we can be. Uh, our squad is getting stronger as we get one or two players back. We've still got one or two players to come back <coughs> with Warren and Ryan Williamson, uh, PJ. So yeah, no, it's it's what I I come from the school of it's a game of football and we want to go out and win, you know we want to go out and win we want to do our utmost to win, and uh, that's that's basically all you can do. I'm not from the school of, you know it's just the Challenge Cup and it doesn't really matter. You know it's for me it's a game of football. It's not like we're, you know we've got a bounce game where we'll give other players guys a game on Tuesday. It's not like we've been playing. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and naturally need a rest. You know, uh, we we don't necessarily need that situation. It's game on a Friday night. Then you know, game next Saturday is the uh, the priority back in uh, in the league business. But it'll also give a chance on Tuesday for these guys to to get a game and uh, put themselves in front of Marcel and Paul and and trying to make our job even more difficult by putting in good performances uh, as well. And the Challenge Cup got to be one of your personal favourite competitions, given your success in it over the years. Well, we've had success, yeah. I mean, as I say there, like everything, we just go out to try and win the next game, no matter what it is, you know. And so it's not 
a favourite of mine's. <coughs> uh, you know, it's a it's a cup that gives teams for the Championship League one or two a chance to win something. Uh, real, realistically, you know, to to win the Scottish Cup and uh, or even the League Cup, you're going to have to beat Celtic Rangers probably, and you know it's quite difficult. Uh, so realistically, you do have a chance of, of winning this, and that's you know part of why you know myself and Paul have been uh, you know fairly successful in that because we we don't just uh, you know play a particular team for you know a lesser cup if you want you know we, we're trying to keep momentum in the squad keep people you know playing uh, in the top of their game and looking to uh, build on last week and a, a slightly different one at the stadium uh, it's going to be under the lights tomorrow and um, it should be a, a good atmosphere uh, are you expecting another good backing from the Falkirk fans well I mean the fans have been incredible you know and last Saturday was like out of the world out of this world you know as well <coughs> yeah, amazing yeah, the backing that we got and the amount of fans that we had there, you know, I'm sure everyone's been talking about it ever since. Uh, this cup doesn't necessarily uh, excite too many people, especially in the early rounds, you know, so it would be nice, it would be nice, and being a Friday night, maybe, you know, not doing anything, you know, uh, maybe there'll be a reasonable crowd, but, you know, in recent years, it's not a cup that's been attended to particularly well. Uh, we're hoping... You know, it's a good game though, you know, it is an absolutely very, very, very good game to play Partick uh, in, in the way that we've been playing as well. You know, it's a good game and and for a neutral, you know, it may bring a few neutrals along just to, to, to take in this game. Uh, so it would be nice if there's a, if there's a crowd there, but uh, there's going to be 22 players giving it everything anyway. All right, John, thank you for your time and best of luck tomorrow night. Cheers.